It is Labor Day in America. What day is it for you? What is your day today? Oh, it's also Labor Day in Canada, I'm told. I'm told. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have the question this morning. Who is John Galt? That is the question. And I think that there's a, an answer out there someplace. But uh, not many people want to admit it. So the challenge that you're having right now is, are you performing your labor in a way that's bearing you the fruit that you're hoping for? Just a question. What is your labor to success ratio or labor to success factor? Or are you spinning wheels sometimes? Are you frustrated that you're not achieving enough even though you work your ass off? That's the question. <clears throat> and so for me, the answer has always been writing. I want to write more so I can achieve more, learn more, do more, be more, earn more, obviously. And the question is exactly the same for you. Where are you, where are you happening right now? Where are you at the, in, in a being perspective so that you're able to achieve what you're hoping to achieve based on the amount of work that you put into it? Because some people work their asses off and don't get what they want and they quit too soon. So here's the big challenge. Yeah, you're working. What do you love? What do you believe in? And how will that manifest itself into the results that you're hoping for? In three days, people will converge on Wild Dunes for a mastermind. And it's going to be monumental, in my opinion. We have an agenda that's put in place. People are working literally their asses off to make this event a memorable one and <clears throat> to put everybody who's in the group in a bigger winning position than they were before they arrived. Just that simple. Um, we're going to try to broadcast as much as we can virtually because some people can't make it. And we're going to put ourselves in a position where I'm giving my best. Joe's going to give his best. Lene is going to give her best. Jen's going to give her best. Wyatt will give his best. And we will emerge victorious as a result of that. Just as a result of that. Think about what's in it for you. You're going to be laboring way after Labor Day. I want to know what are you hoping for? What are you working for? What are your expected outcomes? And then measure your results. <laughs> expected outcomes are big. And they don't always match actual outcomes. You know, a goal is a dream with a plan. No, a goal is a dream with a plan and the results are based on your intentions when you start. You may have a sales plan that you think is absolutely ridiculous and you don't achieve it. I don't understand. It was a goal. It was a plan. You didn't dream your sales quota. Believe me, you didn't dream it. <laughs> Somebody else dreamed it. <clears throat> so now what? Now it's Monday. It's a celebration day. It's a holiday for sure. But... What's the plan for Tuesday? That's the real question, isn't it? And what's the plan for Tuesday until December 31st? That's the real question, isn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how much time people will spend planning for New Year's Eve and not a damn minute for the new year. Or planning for the weekend without a plan for the week to follow. It's Labor Day. Celebrate. Enjoy yourself. Have a barbecue. Be with your family, go swimming, go hiking, ride a horse, whatever you're going to do, but spend an hour planning for labor. Spend an hour planning for results. Spend an hour planning on outcomes and spend that hour on you, most important person in the world. That's the best way you can help Labor Day help you. I, I never understood Labor Day because the nomenclature of it was wrong. It's supposed to celebrate workers. 
Okay, great. But eh, I celebrate you every day. I celebrate everybody that works every single day. But what I don't understand is why do you have to get drunk on Labor Day? Hmm? I mean, it's your choice. Everyone has the choice. Well, I'm just going to have a couple beers. Okay, well, maybe I'll have one more, but I don't want to drive. Uh, but there's lots of people on the beach today because it's Labor Day. And then tonight they'll pack up and leave and go home to labor because labor is on Tuesday. Labor Day is Monday, but Labor Day is Tuesday. So think about what are you going to do to make your labor better? What are you going to do for yourself that will make your labor more fruitful for you? What are your intentions to labor? And what do you want those outcomes to be? And how are you certain that you're going to make those projected outcomes a reality? Just that simple. We got a lot of people on for Labor Day. And I want to make sure that I acknowledge every single person and thank them for their participation. Guys like Justin, do not let making a living prevent you from making a life. John Wooden, whoa. And Cynthia Mannion, a successful man, is one who can lay a firm foundation with the bricks that others throw at him. David Brinkley, oh, wow, is that good. That is so good. And Coach Phil, in order to be the best you can be for others, first you must be the best you can be for yourself. Jeffrey Gittimer, thank you. The fruits of labor are the sweetest of all pleasures. Luc de Vin Vin Vin. Love how the French pronounce everything through their nose. Oh, wow. Two guys have it. An ocean breeze puts a mind at ease. Oh, yeah. Wait till you see what's going on. Wait till you see what's going on. Cynthia, you're going to have a great time here. I promise you. Let's hoe at 9.59. All right, go for it, dude. Happy Labor Day, all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Yep. Everybody's in there for the happy Labor Day. Everybody. But the question is, what are you doing on Tuesday? Gratitude Day. Boom, Hickey, boom, Phil. Labor Day in Canada, for sure, eh? <laughs> Toru, I know they don't have Labor Day in Japan, but I can tell you this. People in Japan are industrious. They take pride in their labor. And I, I, I always wish that we had that ethic here. We don't have that much ethic. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, intuition is knowing without knowing how you know it. I love that. I love that. Who are you? Come on. Go to streamyard.com slash Facebook and say, let me have my name. Happy Labor Day in the USA. Thank you very kindly, Toru. Good morning. Great friends at the Gitterman Nation. JR, good morning to you too. Sneed. A great laborious day to all the Insiders Club members. Sneed, I think I responded to you yesterday on Insiders Club. I, I'm going into the club daily for a few minutes to respond to people's posted videos. It's Gittimer.com slash Insiders Club. And go there and invest in yourself. Please. Come on, get in there and invest in yourself. Robert? Yes, sir. I often feel like a hamster on a wheel. Exactly. Get off the wheel. Get off the wheel. Normal good Monday in Japan. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> good morning. Happy Labor Day. Persistence is my secret sauce. You know what? It works for a lot of people. Work smarter and harder. Exactly. Exactly. Way to go, Justin. Careful. You're not walking away from your three feet from gold. Yeah, I, you know, I, I respect that, Phil. 
I don't think people walk away when they're three feet from gold. I think they walk away too soon, regardless of where they are. Maybe they're on the 20 yard line, maybe they're on the 10 yard line, but they walk away too soon. And if you love it, you stick at it. If you don't love it, you quit. It's plain and simple. Cheers. Death Wish CBG oil. Tim, boom. Diane, boom. People are saying hi to Toru. You know, I just absolutely good. Isn't that ironic on Labor Day? Everybody has a day off. Yeah, it is ironic. Um, Tim, get her done. Rooney, good morning. Love the John Gold shirt. Working to reconnect with people and collaborate on my side hustle. Hope you do. Who is John Galt? Come on. Who is John Galt? That's the question on the floor. 2020 is labor for excellence. I concur. Listen to Get Shit Done Again this weekend. Amazing the breath of fresh air. Read, write, think. Boom. Jeffrey, found another Gittimer book on Sunday in my library. A little platinum book of Cha-Ching. Wow. It's real good. It's real, real good. Hi, Kenny. JR has a birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, JR. One of my mentors used to say, plan your work, then work your plan. Simple, but effective. If you think sales plan is ridiculous, it's probably created by somebody else. I agree. I totally agree. Working on being my best, learning so much as I can in order to help as many people. It's exactly right. Way to go, William. Way to go, William. Planning and laboring away, exactly. Birthday wishes going out all over the place. I'm working right now, exactly. Eddie? We're in sales. We work every day. That is exactly correct. Profit with purpose. Pronounced Amando from Merritt Island, Florida. Home of SpaceX. Come on. How do you remove fear of writing a book? And the answer is start writing. That's the answer. Start writing. Just pour down what's in your brain. <sighs> I expect to enroll a thousand subscribers, new online done for your service, keeping their customers, prospects top of mind, reading a book a week or more and nurture my health and fitness. Go Phil. You'll get it. Go, Phil. Soto. Soto. Wait till you see what's going on. Check my shared document out, please, Joe. And saludos. Joe from Boston. Thank God for people who labor and have great jobs. I pray for those that need employment. Wow, nice. Nice thought. Quote is awesome. Perfect timing. Yep. Where will people be staying while at the mastermind? <laughs> In a hotel room, or we, we have rates for them. We everyone will be in Wild Dunes, and then we have a, we rented a big house, and everyone will come to the house and hang out. Masks if you want to wear them. Social distancing, of course. And then I think the next one will be in Charlotte, and the next one after that will be in Key West. Embrace the little moments as you look back on them and see the big picture. Peggy, embrace those little babies. Amy, I'm gonna make it a great day, Amy. You make it a great day too. I'd like to have a nickel though for everyone who has misspelled your last name. Just give me that nickel. Oh uh, yeah, oh cool. Tuesday we're renewing our vows. That's so cool, That's I love that. I celebrate Labor Day by laboring. Diane, big house on the beach. Exactly. Uh, your world is a living expression of how you are using and have used your mind. Earl Nightingale. Exactly. Just because you invest time and money in learning, unless you put it into practice, it's useless. Eddie. And go here. Go to the Insiders Club. Come on, go. Go, 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 go. Josh. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. I'm assuming you're talking about me. Paul, 
What do you got on there? Greatness is not born from one success. It's born from persevering through the countless failed attempts that preceded it. Concur. Was Edison that said everything comes to those who hustles while he waits? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You can Google it, though. Secret of success, work, right? Work your ass off, work hard. That's the two word secret of success. Work hard. Was listening to the module five this morning about scamper and the seven figure sales formula and just happened to be on the same chapter in Thinker Toys. Must be a sign. I'm telling you, scamper will change everything. If you guys don't own Thinker Toys by Michael Mahako, Thinker Toys, I'm just going to post up the words Thinker Toys. Thinker Toys. It's the best book written on creativity ever. Yep, Thinker Toys. M I C H A L K O. Buy that book and hurry up. Sneed, I'm halfway through direct line. It's I know it's not only is it amazing, it's so thought provoking. It's so in, it's so intentional. It's absolutely unbelievable to me. To me. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Amy, you should tell me how many people mispronounce her name. Yeah, Nickel, we deal in the, in the hundreds. Go here. Go check out Michael Mahako's book, Thinker Toys. It's so good. It's so good. Freddie, what do you got to say? I believe in the three colors of work, gray as in gray matter. How smart of you. What is your natural talent? Red as in blood and heart. What kind of effort do you put in? How focused and determined is the effort? And finally, green, the color of money. Wow, this is really good. Fred, good thinking, dude. I'm saving this. This is very, very well put. I'm sure there are other colors, um, maybe purple for how's your creativity, or maybe uh, uh, green and blue and yellow, which makes green, maybe combining things. This is really well done and well thought out. I love it. I really love this. So let's, uh, hold on. Let me see. Oh, you can't do any of that stuff here. This is really, really well done. Did I mention that, Fred? Um, and I'm assuming it's you who did this. Um, I'm just telling you right now, boom, I'm going to send this to myself right now. Maybe we'll use this in the mastermind this weekend. It's brilliant. It's totally brilliant. Just, I, I love this. I'm going to, when, when you have, uh, something that's brilliant and you're looking at it from that perspective, then you send it to yourself right away, which is what I'm doing, so that I have it top of mind, sent to me. Um, Fred, more from you. Come on. And Joachim, I just, I, <laughs> I just, um, I wrote a, a response to Joachim who's in the Insiders Club, and I said, it's, it's interesting that you're in hell, but you think of it as heaven. Boom. Venice, Florida. Integrity is the ability to listen to a place inside oneself that doesn't change. That is correct. There are days when we labor physically and there are days that our minds do all the labor. It is much more profitable to engage your mind. I concur. I totally concur. That's a brilliant statement. Neil. Fruits of labor are 177% to plan, 68% to choose ratio with the opportunity to double my earnings at the end of the year. I love this. I love this. It's really, really well done and well thought out. Phil. John Gold is a character in Ayn Rand's. Exactly. Who is John Galt? John Galt is a person who changed my way of thinking towards the entrepreneur and towards the way we are governed. 
read the book yourself. It's about a thousand pages. Yes, it's a journey book, but I promise you, it's rocking. It's totally rocking. And the only thing you can do is learn from it. She is, her second language is English. It's one of the most brilliantly written prosaic novels on the planet. You will love, you will love the outcomes of this. I, I promise you'll love it. And uh, <clears throat> uh, but I got to pause for one second, get a dog. Okay, so there you have it. And I'm sitting here this morning and looking at what can we do? Like I'm going back to Fred's thing. Come on, look at that. Well done. Just well, well, well done. I I love all of this stuff. I, I John Gold character for now. Sneed, my dog is looking around your home trying to find your parking dog. Oh my God. You know, now that we're working from home, uh, dogs have played a major role in everyone's life. Yeah. Man's life is the standard of morality, but your own life is its purpose. If existence on earth is your goal, you must choose your actions and values by the standard of that which is proper to man for the purpose of preserving, fulfilling, and enjoying the irreplaceable value, which is your life, John Galt. I have to tell you, that if everyone who's protesting right now and rioting was giving a was given a copy of Atlas Shrugged, they would stop. That they would stop in a heartbeat. I'm I'm just absolutely flabbergasted that we have brought ourselves to this situation, and we got to do something about it. Something, please. I'm seeing how alcohol at night is not good. Thanks for this awareness because mornings are better. Mary, my pleasure. I find Fountainhead even better. I can still really identify with Howard. I identified with Howard Rourke for, I don't know, at least a decade. And every time I go to a city, I look for a Howard Rourke building. Every city has one. Every single city has one. Check it out. The rest of it, for the purpose of preserving, fulfilling, and enjoying the irreplaceable value, which is your life. It's, I mean, John Galt, the character of characters. The character of characters. And I wear this shirt to remind myself not to question you, not to know if you know. I know. I found out. It changed everything for me. Well, not everything, but it changed a lot of things about the way I think. And I'm dedicated to the way I think. And so should you. Please, so should you. And big game for the Mets and Phillies today. That's exactly correct. If the if the Mets win, I owe Justin a meal. And if the Phillies win, it's a push. Um, well, actually, if the if the Phillies win, the series is tied two to two. We will eat a meal together. We will fight over the check. And Justin, you can win. <laughs> oh my goodness! Gitmer.com. And I want you to go. Come on. I'm telling you this. I read some of the, I watched some of the videos and I read some of the comments in the Insiders Club. It's unbelievable. People interacting, it's unbelievable. And I love thinking. I love their thinking. Insider Club members, post more, I will respond more. Post more, I will respond more. Um, Phil, are you kidding me? It's my pleasure. It's what I do. It's how I do it. Dreams are your opportunities to be found. I agree. And never too late to change the way you think. 
I agree. Almost lost your feed with my dog noise on my phone screen. I know. It's hysterical. Good morning. Good morning. Don't compare your progress with that of others. We all need our own time to travel our own distance. Whoa. Well said, Paul. People are, wow. <laughs> no, you know, I like that, um, the McRib sandwich. There's something about that that's just compelling. Pickles. Hmm. Anyway, I think Howard Work may have designed the old Endicott building. Oh my God. <laughs> the old Endicott building. Come on. Besides me and Sherry, who knows what the old Endicott building was? Throw it out there. Come on, throw it out there. You got five more minutes to throw out what the old Endicott building was. The book that changed my life, free to choose, Friedman. Uh, everyone has a life-changing book. I'm making real ribs today. Very well done, Justin. Very well done. While the rest of the world is asleep, put your plans into action and keep your eyes on the results, not others. I concur. I make money while other people sleep. I've been doing it for 30 years, and it works. It totally works. Exactly. Average. Worst of the best and best of the worst. Don't be average. I totally agree. It's Dobie Gillis. It's Dobie Gillis. Dobie, D-O-B-I-E Gillis. That is exactly correct. Maynard G. Krebs said, let's go watch him tear down the old Endicott building. Maynard G. Krebs, who became Gilligan on Gilligan's Island. Oh, Bob Denver. Isn't the world interesting? How to Stop Worrying and Start Living, Dale Carnegie. Concur. Amazing book. Cheers to you guys. Life-changing book, Yes Attitude, has helped me and my family immensely. Thank you, Joe. I sent you a couple of responses last night to the Insiders Club. Check them out. Everyone is helloing everybody else. I totally love this. And Teresa, let's see, receive my hat. Absolutely love it. Lucky to know you. Cool. So happy. All right, you guys, it's 1027. It's Labor Day. Go have a beer, go have a hot dog, and then have a life after that. Make a plan to labor for success. So glad you love your lucky hat. Yeah, me too. Justin is, I'm telling you, guy is freaking cool. Pay attention to him. Yeah. Yep. So if you remember, though, Maynard G. Krebs, when somebody said, hey, Maynard, you got to go to work. Work! So be careful of that one. How to win friends and influence people. I agree. Two books, How to Win Friends and Influence People, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Dale Carnegie books are unbelievable. They are as impactful as Napoleon Hill Think and Grow Rich and Napoleon Hill Truthful Living. Just go for that. And uh, everybody's having a great day. Have a burger of pose for me. I will do it. <laughs> Maybe that's my Labor Day deal. We'll see. But I want to go, where the hell is my Insiders Club posting? Oh, my goodness. Oh, here we go. We're going to end here. I'm going to challenge you to meet me tomorrow. Same time, same station. 9.59 a.m. Wishing you the happiest, the happiest, happiest of Labor Days, the most successful of Labor Days, the most interesting of Labor Days, the most profitable of Labor Days, and the most idea-laden of Labor Days. Success and health to you all. See you tomorrow. Thank you.